Hey guys, welcome back. I want to give you what will be my final word on this gun right here. The FX9 9mm AR from Freedom Ordnance and ClassicFirearms.com. As I said in my previous video, those two companies work together to produce this gun. And um, in my opinion, it is very, very good. Now, speaking about accuracy, we got to address that real quick. I've been putting this on paper today and I honestly have not been really impressed. We'll mention that the optic is the Leupold 1 to 4 by something. I'll, I'll put it in annotation. It magnifies up to 4, which is not really high. Perhaps if I had a higher magnification optic, I could do better. I shouldn't. I mean, I should be able to do just fine with 4, but these eyes are not as good as they used to be. So I would say that the gun probably shoots better than I can, but um, I have to say that I'm not shooting that great at 100 yards with this gun. Inside 25 or so yards, I'm doing pretty well though. This gun is a really fun gun to shoot up fairly close. Again, like at 15, 25, 30 or so yards. Just a blast. It's so much fun to plink with, to do some drills with, and to just enjoy. It's extremely lightweight at around six pounds naked. Um, put on the optic, put on the, the foregrip, put on the side rail, put on the silencer, uh, etc. etc. Yeah, you add a little bit of weight, but it still feels extremely light in hand and it's so easy to swing and to shoot with and to point with and just to have a good time with. Um, the gun overall performs really well. Again, we're going to hit about a thousand rounds here tonight. And I cannot say that I've had any notable uh, mishaps with this gun. No real failures. That's outstanding for any AR really, but for this 9mm AR, one that's built from the ground up to be a 9mm, 9mm AR and using a design and parts that uh, we've never really seen before, for it to perform like it is and like it has, I'm incredibly impressed. And around 600 bucks for this gun, oh, I heartily recommend it. But we gotta put a few more rounds through it to get to that thousand round mark, so let's start doing that right now. Since we have that silencer on hand, we're going to put some 168 grain Hush ammo from Freedom Munitions. Great stuff. We're going to put that through the gun, see how that sounds. I guess I better take my ears off. Let's go. That hush ammo is extremely quiet. All I'm really hearing is the slap of that steel. A little bit of the action of the bolt, but the bullets are not making any kind of sound. I'm actually hearing them impact on the dirt way out there when they do too, but uh, extremely silent. So that was the 168 grain hush ammo, subsonic. Let's go with some standard stuff. This would be 115 grain round nose, also from Freedom Munitions. Also very, very silent, but you can definitely feel a little bit more velocity behind those rounds than the 168 grain ones. Give you a quick look at the chest rig I'm using. The plate carrier that I'm using is made by Premier Body Armor, and inside this are two plates, front and back. 
Duras 8000 plates. They're very lightweight, very durable for what they are. Now we got one more magazine to get through, so let's do that. So, so fun. Now, Freedom Munitions has provided pretty much all the ammo I've put through this gun, which is fantastic. It has enabled me to put, you know, to do a proper thousand round test on the gun, which normally would be a little too expensive for me. So I really appreciate their help on that. Give them some thanks by ordering from them. And by the way, you get a little bit, bit of a discount when you do that. If you use, use code TLBS, you get 5% off. Also, you're getting great ammo. I've used their stuff for a long time before they started giving me some to test with. And uh, I love it. I love their stuff. It's w very well priced and it shoots great. So um, yeah, fantastic stuff. We've got just a few more rounds here to put through the gun. That'll put us at about a thousand. After that, we'll give you a couple last thoughts. One last mag of the 168 grain hush ammo. And that's about it. If I didn't say this already, the gun does take Glock magazines set up for that. What we're using today are these smoky clear ETS mags, which I love. They uh, glide in and out of the mag well, pretty nice and smooth, generally drop free as well. So I like them quite a bit. The Glock magazines that I have, the 33 rounders, seem to stick a little more than these ETS ones, which is why I prefer using these ETS mags. But any Glock compatible magazine will work with the gun. Um, obviously, as long as it's nine millimeter, since it is chambered in that. Uh, the gun is just built so well. Everything's thought out well. It's got a great feed ramp, um, all, the, all the furniture on it. Uh, this is UTG Pro. I don't know what this is, but it's a standard A2. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. Uh, it doesn't come with this, obviously, or this little rail section. Actually, it does come with a rail section, which is a nice bonus. It doesn't come with the silencer, obviously, or the sling, or the sling attachment point here on the front. But the UTG Pro um, stock here does have a sling attachment point built into it. So this gun is pretty much ready to go right out of the box. That's fantastic. If I had one big complaint about the gun, it'd probably be the trigger. It's not a very nice AR trigger. It's a little, a little worse than standard GI trigger as far as ARs are concerned. So when you get this gun, you'll be tempted to replace that. However, they state pretty clearly that this gun has more or less been tuned to work well with this gun to keep it from bump firing. Apparently there had been some, um, in maybe V1 of the gun, there had been some bump fire issues or some instances of bump fires from certain customers. So they tuned the, the trigger a little bit uh, to, uh, to compensate for that and to make sure that doesn't happen accidentally anymore. Uh, however, that also means that it would be, you know, you kind of be putting yourself at risk if you replaced the trigger with any other stock AR trigger. That's maybe one downside, but you see what I'm doing out here today. You can get used to that trigger real quick, real easily. I'm not a big trigger snob. Maybe you are, I don't know. But this one, you can get used to it quick, and for the price of the gun, again, around 600 bucks, that trigger is totally doable. On September 27th, Classic Firearms announced a new version of this gun, the 8-inch FX9 pistol. 
The pistol version comes standard with a free float M-Lock handguard, a shockwave blade brace, and a 33 round magazine. At 650 bucks, this pistol also comes with a complete shooter's package, including a range bag, flip up sights, a sling, and more. I expect the pistol to be just as fun and reliable as the rifle, and I plan to get one. This is such a fun plinker. I absolutely love this thing. You can put this in just about anybody's hands. If they're afraid of rifles, AR-15s or whatever, put this gun in their hands. They won't have any fear. It's really fun to shoot. It's really easy to shoot. Soft shooting, direct blowback, sure, but still very easy to control, very easy to shoot. Tons of fun, cheap to shoot as well. Cheaper than your standard AR because it shoots nine millimeter. Very, very reliable, more reliable than probably half or more of the other AR-9 style rifles out there. I've shot a couple of them. I've seen some failures. I've also seen some, I guess just bad design choices. But when they take something like this, start from the ground up to build a purpose-built nine millimeter AR, well, you can get the features you want on it. You can get really good features with it. And in my opinion, this thing is extremely well-designed, well-squared away. If you got 600 bucks, you should probably buy one. I'm Late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching.